welcome. My name is Christina and I'm the Education Coordinator with the DuPage County Farm Bureau. I'm really excited to be with you today because I'm out here on my family's farm and we're going to be talking about wheat harvest and straw baling. So it's really hot out here, you can probably tell. It is early July and so this is the time when we're harvesting wheat and baling straw. Now the type of wheat that we grow on our farm is called soft red winter wheat and this is the most popular kind of wheat that's grown here in central and southern Illinois. This type of wheat is ground down and made into flour and this is the type of flour that we use to make things like cookies and cake and crackers. Now this wheat here has just been harvested so you can see we're not in a wheat field we actually have straw rows of straw here but the wheat that was here was actually planted back last fall. Now that's kind of interesting because a lot of our crops are planted in the springtime and harvested in the fall, like corn and soybeans. But wheat's planted in the fall after we've harvested our corn and soybeans, and it is a really good cover crop. So cover crops help prevent soil erosion. We don't want our soil to move while there aren't crops in the field. So once this is planted in the fall time, it starts to germinate and put down roots. And then those roots help to hold the soil in place during the winter so that our soil doesn't erode from things like rain and ice and snow and wind. So then the, the wheat will start growing again in the springtime and then it's going to be ready for harvest in the summer, which is what our video is going to be showing you. All right, so I found a stock of wheat that didn't get harvested, so I wanted to show you some of the parts of the wheat plant. So this top part up here, this whole piece is called the head. The head is made up of the kernels and the kernels are what we're actually harvesting and grinding into flour. Now the kernels are, are the seed of the plant. So if we were to plant these, it would grow into an all new wheat plant. These spiky pieces up here are called the beard. And then we have the stem or the stalk. This is what's holding the head up. Now, because this has been dried out and ready for harvest, we're missing all of the leaves. We used to have leaves on the plant that would help with photosynthesis and making food for the plant, but most of those are gone. We just have one little one left. So down at the base of the stalk, we then have the roots of the plant, and this holds the plant in place as it's growing. So those are all the parts of our wheat plant, and normally our wheat field here would be filled with these um, wheat plants, but they've been harvested. So our wheat is harvested with a machine called a combine. The combine drives through the field and it cuts the stalks and it separates the kernels from the rest of the plant. So just like we saw in our corn video, if you watched that, um, the, the machine's doing the same basic function. It's separating those seeds, the kernels, from the rest of the plant because that's what we want to keep. And those kernels are going to be stored in a grain tank up at the top of the machine. And once that grain tank is filled up, up, our farmers are going to unload them into wagons or semi trucks um, and then they're going to be taken into storage. Now on our farm we store our um, wheat for a few weeks and then we actually take it directly to a flour mill down in Mount Olive, Illinois called Minnell and they will grind our wheat into flour and then that flour gets processed and sold all over the country. So even up by us in DuPage County we might be eating flour made from my family's wheat. So wheat is really cool because it gives us a secondary product or a byproduct of straw. So our initial product is the wheat kernels that we're harvesting to be made into flour. But then we're left with all of these stalks. And this is straw. Now you've probably seen straw at the store if you use it for plant bedding for your garden or maybe for decoration or animal bedding. And straw is different from hay. Um, a lot of times we get those mixed up. So for straw, it comes from grain crops. It's the stock of grain crops and there's no nutritional value in it. So what we use this for is bedding for our animals or plant bedding, or you might use it for decoration during the fall time. Whereas hay is coming from grasses or clover or alfalfa, and there's a lot of nutritional value in that. And so that is what we feed to our livestock, especially during the winter. So this straw, as you can see, has been uh, cut already and the combine puts it in nice straight rows for us and then we're going to use a tractor and a baler to bale it into square bales. We make square bales on our farm and there's a couple of different ways that we can um, move them around. So first we've got our straw 
bale accumulator. This machine actually puts the square bales into stacks of 10 and leaves them in the field and then we'll come back and pick them up with a machine. Um, this is really good for if you don't have a lot of help because moving straw takes a lot of people. Um, we also have our wagon that people ride and so they will pick up the bales from the baler and stack them um, onto the wagon. And so then once we've got our straw onto our wagon, we transport it to barns where it gets stored. And on our farm, we actually sell to different hardware stores in the area. Um, and so we sell our straw to them where then they can sell it to the public. Well, thank you guys so much for visiting our farm. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tour and got to see some of the machinery that we use. So have a good rest of your summer and we'll see you later.